I used to damn near cry when I was on tour with my brother. <laughs> I rapped on the tour. I came home one time and I was just, I was sitting up in the bed like, why are you gonna put me on? <laughs> <laughs> then I was, I was up there like, am I not good? Can I not sing? Like, <laughs> I was going through it. No, you was asking yourself that yes, about life. I'm talking to myself. In the bedroom, like, why? Like, why? You know what I mean? And yeah. <laughs> all the, like when, sometimes he wouldn't want to do sound checks, so I would do his songs at the sound checks. And the background singers would be like, why the fuck he ain't got you? And, you know, but they didn't want to touch it because, you know, just because it was, you know, it, it was touchy. They wanted to keep their jobs and they wanted to, you know what I mean, stay in good grace to him, so, you know what I mean, they left it alone, but. I remember after that too, I was, I was hype. <laughs> <laughs> like, I know it's a struggle, like, living in that shadow, though. Definitely is. Definitely and is. And then with this, like, y'all sound the same, kind of, but it's just, I think it's a family thing. Like, it's yeah. just in the bloodline. Yeah. And, and if you, you can hear the difference. Like, if you wanted to hear, I think you can hear the difference in, um, in my voice and his. And you know what I mean, I guess. Like we got a record. Um we got a record. Um it's gonna come out sometime uh early next year. Uh, not the fourth not the first quarter. Mm. Um we're probably around the second quarter. Um and I remember when I let my mama first hear it. And she didn't know who sang what which part. And I seen the verses, he seen the hook, but she couldn't tell the difference and I was just like Is you, do you think that's why he couldn't put you on? Um, I honestly don't know why he couldn't put me on or didn't put me on. I don't, you know what I mean? And I try not to give it too much thought now. You know, because like I said, at one time I was fucked up with it. Like I was, <clears throat> I was lost in that shit. And man, it is what it is and it ain't what it ain't. Like, it, obviously it wasn't supposed to go like that. You know what I mean? So, we never did a song. I mean, we did a song with, <clears throat> when we was kid kids. I still got Before that shit. Before it was like, new. Yeah, when we was little. Like, when we was first, first singing in a group called the Dodsons. We have a song together. Okay. Um, what can we expect next from J. Russ? What's the next single? Like, yeah. <sighs> well, you know, I sent you the, the three records. So we still deciding what the next single going to be. It's, it's either going to be, more than likely it's going to be a record called Same Dream, the number two that I sent you, second one. Hmm. And we met, but it's depending on um, how my brother record do that he got out now. Okay, the video. Yeah, well it's a record, but the video came after the, the record, but yeah. depending on how that does, because that may go over too many people here. You know what I mean? Um, but it may stick. So if it stick, then then I'm gonna have to go with the record me and him guy. You know what I mean? If, if nothing else, a buzz record. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, cause it already did hit the name. Exactly. And, and 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 in music business, that's what a nigga should do. Yeah. You know what I mean? But I mean, I used to fight it. <laughs> I used to fight it for so long. Like, you know what I mean? Like the the the, the that shadow. Like you said that, yeah. that I didn't want to be in that shadow, so I would fight it. And then one of my um one of my peoples who I came in contact during this journey, he was like, But why would you fight it? He's like, It's the truth. That's your brother. You know what I mean? He was like, I could see if he wasn't your brother and you know what I mean, he was being in that shadow or you know what I mean? he was like, but that is part of your story. So why not embrace it? He owned. Why wouldn't you embrace that and use it as a stepping stone to you? But I was so dead because I want to get it on my own. I'm, I'm Jay Rush. I ain't, you know what I mean? And so slowly but surely, I had to learn that man, music is business. It's, it's the music business for a reason. I remember, and this is the last story I'm going to tell you, but the way I got on the Bone CD was because when I was out on tour with my brother, we was in L.A. 
at a hotel. I happened to, I was tired of sitting in the room, so, you know, we outside, looking for girls probably, but we outside. Yeah. And it just so happens that, um, Crazy Bone and, um, I don't know who it was. It, 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 was, it was Crazy Bone and somebody else, maybe. <coughs> so, <clears throat> so, I told him, yeah, we from Ohio too, and da 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 da, and, you know. Yeah. And um, he gave me his number. <clears throat> I told him I done music, gave me his number, I sent him some music. Um, and they had me come back out to California. I went to the studio with them, <clears throat> and I think this is when they were still with Swiss Beats, or they had just left Swiss Beats. And um, it was so crazy, because like I say, I, I, there's so much stuff that happened with me in this journey that it's like whatever. But. So they got me singing, he got me singing on these tracks. <clears throat> and it just so happened the tracks was from Dr. Dre. So oh. I'm already lost in the sauce right there. And I'm like, these is Dre beats? Like, I didn't even think I would ever hear a Dre beat. Unless on the radio, like, and I'm, I'm really getting on a Dr. Dre beat, like. So that's humbling. Yeah. So I recorded on the Dre beats. Um, because with Dre, he sends you shells. You record on it, send it back to him, and then he fill it in. You know what I mean? The beat. Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. So, so yeah, I recorded on that. Um, I don't know what the fuck they done with that, how that worked out or whatever, but that didn't take off. So, they had me come back down there, and, um, you know, they put me up in a hotel. Um, I got crazy stories about that too, but I ain't gonna get in there right now. But um, you know, the hotel, I'm constantly in the studio with Crazy Ball and we working day and night. And um one track, we end up doing a song, me and him. And so boom, when I get back to Toledo, I am thinking I'm gonna put the song out, I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do, but I got this record with me and Crazy Bone on it. So he hit me a few days later, like, yo, don't do nothing with that record. The label wants us to use the record for the new Bone CD. It was called, <clears throat> the name of the CD was Uni 5. Because all, it was the first time that all five of them was back together on one record since way back when. Yeah. <clears throat> so, he was like, they want to use the record. So I'm like, shit, say less. Yeah, that's happening. <laughs> I'm like, so they going to leave my verses on there? Or he was like, I don't know exactly what they're going to do with it, but they want to use the record. So. That was that. Then all five of them got on the record, so I just was on the hook. Then, here's where the business part comes in at. <clears throat> they were on Universal, and my brother was on Universal at the time. So Universal wanted to take me off the record and put my brother on it. Yeah. Wow, so, with the same hook? <clears throat> um, I don't know what they was going to do. But I'm like... <clears throat> Part of me is disappointed, but then another part of me is like, this is business. If, if, if you think about it, it, it make more sense for them to have a household name singing on a hook versus yeah. a nobody. <clears throat> no matter how good it sounds, it's still, you know what I mean? It's business. So, <clears throat> I remember they told me like, yeah, the label want to try and put your brother on it. And I'm like, alright, so I call my brother like, yo. Man, you hear that about Bone and want to put you on a record, or, or <clears throat> Atlanta, wanna, I mean, Universal want to put you on a record, and <clears throat> he was like, yeah, they came at me about it, but I ain't going to, you want me to do it? I was like, no, don't do it to me. <laughs> Hell no. You <laughs> want nobody to know that, <laughs> I'm like, he's like, I ain't gonna do it then. I mean, I'm cool. I was like, all right, yeah, that's cool, that's cool. I mean, but if they do get you to do it, you know what I mean, do what I wrote. You know what I mean, saying what I wrote, and he like, yeah, yeah, I mean, I got you, I got you. I ain't gonna do it, but, you know, I got you. <clears throat> he did the record. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, I was heartbroken. Oh. I was heartbroken. I was like, what? The That's betrayal. <laughs> so he did the record, and 
I'm trying to think, did he even do what I wrote? Like, he added some shit. I'm like, damn it. <laughs> All right, but. Well, was that the music video? Some of my shit. Huh? That, that was the music video. Yeah, I mean, I guess so. It's a hard ass for me. <laughs> I was like, this Benedict Arnold ass nigga <laughs> backstabbed me. So, <clears throat> but what happened with that was, um, they flew me back out there. And was like, yeah, man, they put your brother on it, but <clears throat> we ain't like it. We told him we ain't like it. This lazy telling me we ain't like it. And I'm sitting there thinking, nigga, how the fuck you ain't like it? We sound exactly the same. <laughs> yeah. Like, how you ain't like it? You ain't good looking, though, but how you ain't like it, bro? Yeah. <laughs> so they flew me back out to L.A. And they take me in the studio. And at this time, they had some corny-ass manager that, once again, the street side came out. So me and this nigga fell out. Um, cause I'm like, he was saying shit online. I'm like, bitch, I will see you when I get to LA. Like, you know what I mean? Like, fuck all that. So, <clears throat> when I get to the studio, they tell me, you know, all right, do what you do. And I'm like, wait a minute. So, you mean tell me I got full carte blanche to do whatever I want to do to this record now, right? It was like, yeah, do you. And this was Crazy Bone, Lazy Bone. I think I got into it with Busy Bone that day, so he wasn't in there, but... You know, um, so boom. So I, I'm like, cool. I go in the studio and I didn't know the manager was in there. But he had put his female artist doing ad libs on the song. Like, you know what I mean? So I'm sure trying to get her in the mix. Like, he was, yeah, a, cool, he was a cool one. Yeah, so, so boom. When I, I know he's in the studio. So when I go in here, they pull it up. I'm like, all right, first thing first, take that bitch off. Like, <laughs> Let me shut this down. And I have to look up and, oh, <laughs> yeah, take her off. <laughs> so he leaves the studio and, you know what I mean? I go ahead and do what I'm going to do. Um, and I think Busy ended up coming in that day and some she said something to piss me off. And I'm just like, my nigga, I, I said, man, y'all better get this motherfucker. Like, I'm going for who you is. You know what I mean, nigga? I'm not him. You know what I mean? So we asked him where he apologized later on. Um, but but so when I finally hear the record, when it, and then so boom, so the record done. Mind you, I told you me and the manager was falling out and fell out. Yeah. Some kind of way. Now this was this was the record label. It felt like this was the one. This was the one. It's called See Me Shine. It was like, this is the one for Bone. It's going to bring them back strong and da da da. So I'm confident with that now. I'm like, man, when this come out, it's ball game. It's over with. Like, I done had some other releases, you know what I mean, with um, national artists, but this is the one that's going to get me out there. <sighs> some kind of way, the record gets leaked. Go figure. And it just so happens the version that gets leaked got this bitch singing on the hook, doing ad libs all through it. Hmm. On, on, on top of you. Wonder who put it out. It wasn't even what they had did was they had left my brother on the record and put me. You know what I mean? So we both. They mixed. Right, right. Which I mean, it works for me because it it, it, it um. Everybody gets something out of it. Like now they got the household name on there and I'm on there too. Yeah. So, you know what I mean? It all worked. And, um, but it gets leaked. And, um, you know, it didn't take no rocket scientist to figure who the fuck leaked it. But that shot down some shit in itself. You know what I mean? Yeah. Then it was like when the video got shot for it, <clears throat> um, they didn't, um, he he fucked up and didn't give me my plane tickets to go out there. Then we still with this animosity we had. Oh, the manager? Yeah, the manager. So they ended up we was on tour and they ended up going to Good Morning America. And they was gonna do the song on Good Morning America. Some kind of way I didn't get to the airport to go, you know what I mean? They and so they ended up doing the song with um Fantasia brother. Um What's his name? Um, damn, what's my guy's name? Uh, he was signed with T.I. now. He he had the Young Drill record. 
Mm. Um, not Tino. Um, I forget. Yeah. I forget his name. But yeah, they end up doing a show with him instead. So that it was like once again, shot in the foot by myself. You know what I mean? Like if I hadn't have been brushing up on this nigga, like you know what I mean? Shit probably would have went a lot different. And if I had just went with the on program, the record, anyway. Well, she was on the one day that they leaked. Okay. The actual one, I I want to say I'm just on it. I don't know if my brother's on the one that's on the CD or not. But I, I know she definitely not on it, not on the official <laughs> one. So it was like it, it wasn't even worth it. Yeah, and it, it fucked my move up. But like I say, that was once again that was me. You know what I mean? Doing it to myself all over again, like trying to be street instead of doing the shit, you know what I mean? Yeah, the industry true. way. Yeah. So, yeah, that was just another story. I got a million of them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, we're going to have you back. We're going to have you back. Like, we trying to make it, like, I'm, I'm trying to create a platform. And I'm trying to do a platform with multiple things. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's just not the garage. You know, we got Fly Toledo where we do the drone. Uh, you know, right, I've seen that too and some of that. Yeah, like that's got a nice movement now. Oh, yeah? Nice movement. So it's just like I'm just trying to bring entertainment. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? So, but uh, we got a couple drops. Okay. Well, no, not a couple. You know, uh, and you all spoken. Sure. Like, and then like that, what, what you said earlier about, um, well, kind of before the camera started working, like, you know, you would figure that you would be working with more artists and stuff. Yeah. Like, um, like, cause at one point in time, like I found myself doing that with the political shit where I ran everybody off. Do you, do you think that's something to do? I think I have thought about that. Like only because Think we come from a generation niggas ain't built the same like that. Like, and so I'm sure I offend some niggas. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because even though I'm not out here promoting the bullshit and <clears throat> you know what I mean, trying to get niggas to be, I'm really with that shit. Like that's where I came from the bullshit. Yeah. So yeah. when I did music, it was just I couldn't conform to certain shit because I wasn't built like that. Like I'm not faking nothing. Yeah. You know what I mean? I think that kind, that may have been. <clears throat> uh, uh, a downfall for me as an artist because you know what I mean. I wasn't with the industry shit. I remember when I used to be on tour with my brother. We used to have a thing saying we in the streets, not industry. Like and everybody don't accept that shit well. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, no, know, I like no, I agree like with you. I think everybody is so easy to offend that they looking for stuff that offend them. Yeah. Yeah, you know, yeah. and, and I'm aggressive at times, right? And that's why I don't post too too much. Like you know, nowadays with the social media and being an artist, you got to be every day, all day on that shit. Like, yeah. and they want to see everything you do from the time you wake up to the time you go back to sleep. Like, like they on it. I even caught niggas like Boosie. Like you know what I mean? Like I see that nigga with his phone on live, and he just sitting there dozing off. <laughs> yeah. And I'm just, in my mind, I would have thought, nah, that nigga too gangster for that shit. But B Boosie understand in order to be an artist in this day and age, I got to do what they expect me to do. Yeah. At least on the camera. What, you know? what, you, <clears throat> I think Boosie learned that. Exactly. Yeah, right. I think it was so, they told him down during the pandemic, but yeah. it Put your pussy lips on live, I give right, you a, right, a thousand. Right. That's the too real shit. Like, that's you know what I mean? Yeah. They don't want you. They don't want to see your real, real life. They want to see the make believe shit, the fake shit. Like, right? and, I, and, I, and for me, I think, like I say, that was a hindrance for me because I, it was hard for me to, it still is hard to conform to that shit because I don't want everybody knowing my every motherfucking move. I don't want niggas honing in on my flaws and, you know what I mean? Like, I'd rather give you what I'm going to give you when I give it to you and, well, see that that's what I wanted to ask you. What is my well, my thing is when I when working with an artist, I say um, you can't give them too much because they they start looking for that. Like you know, oh, oh he don't like Avant. I don't like him because he don't like Avant. You know, yeah. 
Yeah. yeah. So you know, it's like they start using against you. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Like me calling chicks bitches. Like yeah. they may feel like, oh nah, he this. Who is he to call? And it don't be like that, man. It's just a fucking term. Yeah. Y'all call yourselves bitches. Yeah. You know what I mean? Y'all wouldn't call your homegirl bitches. So what making a difference? What difference do it make if I call you a bitch or I say bitch? Just in passing and talking like it ain't like she's sitting right here and I'm like, bitch. Yeah, bitch. Like, no, that yeah. ain't what it is. So don't make but they gonna make it any more than what it is. They definitely yeah. are. So why stay on a live all day or stay in a face all day when you know it's like it's like um they just trying to trip you up. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I, one thing about me, I'm a, I'm gonna go get some money. You know what I mean? Whether it's with music or whether it's with whatever. So that's why I don't. Maybe if music was my only option, I'd probably be going a lot more harder with it. Or you know. What you I mean? could but, conform. Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> but I'm I'm just built different. Like I'm, I don't want to conform to shit. Yeah. And that's just it. It's too much. Like like I didn't I didn't fell in the step with the shit. Like you know what I mean? So I feel like shit. I'm gonna do my thing and if it hit it hit. Don't it, don't. Yeah. And that come with age, I think. Yeah. 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 I, I think because at one, you know, we all used to hang on the block. Like you said, right now I can't get a motherfucker to help me move a couch. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know? Yeah, it's almost disrespectful to ask motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? Muhammad Ali was like that when he was young. Yeah. When he was young, he didn't want to conform. That's why when he, um, <clears throat> when they tried to draft him, he was like, no, I'm not going. And they was like, you know what I mean? Well, you gonna go to jail, and and they, his people trying to tell him just do it. He like, fuck all that. Yeah. I'm doing the shit the way I want to do it, from 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 how I feel it should go. And if it don't work like that, then it don't. You know what I mean? But yeah. he was young. You're in two parts the same way. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I think I think well, that's what we should It's that I think it's that era. You you right in that era though. Yeah, yeah, you know, so yeah, them yeah. is your heroes and them the people right, you right. watched, you know. Yeah, right, yeah, you're absolutely right. So this this generation, they heroes is <laughs> man, cartoon with a kid. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Yeah, they respecting the wrong shit, but Yeah. You know what younger younger um I'm gonna say younger females like but um Younger adult females, they still vibe with R and B. So I don't even understand how, you know what I mean, all this hip hop shit be flying because they, you know what I mean, they they don't be on it like that. Or at least, you know what I mean, they still fuck with the old R and B. But let, let me ask you this though, like so with the hip hop, like, is this really hip hop or is this drill? I, mean, I think it's all hip hop. You know what I mean? Oh, I think yeah. it all still fall in that, okay. that category. I mean, and you know what? And 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 hip hop rules the nation. Yeah. Like, man, hip hop rules the world, not even just the nation. I don't think. Like, like you know, so many, um, so much stuff that we do trends in other countries, and they want to be like us so bad. And what's puzzling to me is how. <clears throat> what's the highest paid genre of music? Was um, it like country? Duh. Well, I think it's the uh, pop. The pop, right. Yeah. And hip hop probably the lowest. Yeah. But, we, but that's only because niggas do it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We influence cultures all over the world. Don't know other music do that. Everybody, everybody you see, motherfuckers want to be cool, want to be hip, and yeah. you know what I mean? But we the lowest paid job in music. Don't, if that don't say something, motherfuckers, I don't know. I mean, they don't get it. They don't fucking get it, man. Yeah. That's we true. like the bottom of the motherfucking bucket when it comes to everything. Yeah. And that's another thing that put me on hold with my music was because that shit really had me like mentally perplexed because you feel like you damn if you do, damn if you don't. Like it ain't no fucking, it's, it's hopeless. Well, like, I think you was talking to him like, is that like some of what you was talking to in that cypher? Yeah, 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 somewhat, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Cause I, I feel it like as soon as you came on, I said, "Oh, he talking that shit." <laughs> yeah, like he, he talking it. Like I, I, that's how I felt, you know. And I felt it was coming from the heart. You know? Yeah, no, because that's how I write, man. You know, I had got um, like when I was really, really going hard with the music, like we were submitting stuff to record labels, and the general consensus was that a lot of shit that I was saying. 
wouldn't be felt by the masses. Like it was too personal. Yeah. And I was just like, that's how I write. You know what I mean? That's, you know, I can only give you what I know. But they felt like that that wasn't, everybody wasn't going to be able to grasp onto that. Or at least that wasn't what they was trying to feed. Like I saw something today where he was talking about, I think it was from Tank, and he was talking about how the biggest weapon to the country is black love. Like, mm. that's why they kind of killed off R&B, because they don't, they don't feel like we should be teaching each other how to love. You know what I mean? Yeah. But they promote us being savages and wanting to kill each other and disrespecting each other. They, they, to them, that's what they promote the black, that black people should be like. Yeah. And that's crazy because that's the absolute truth. That's the absolute truth. You don't hear no lot of like love music no more. Like, all you hear is bitch this, bitch that, like. Your yeah. favorite rapper can say it, but bitch, what I said, you got a problem with it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they out there hip dancing to that motherfucking on, hip belly on, dance. <laughs> right. Yeah, dude, like, so do you think, like, so that speaks with the, the Toledo mentality. Like, so you move your music out of Toledo. Like from when when you the, did you find the biggest movement when you moved out of Toledo? That's what I got from that cypher song. Um, I think at some point you have to because the biggest thing I learned with the music is because <clears throat> like a lot of people wonder why they didn't see me out in the clubs or they don't see me in a lot of places and this and that. It's because I was always taught that. People are not going to pay to come see you at a show if they can go down to the neighborhood bar and you up in there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, so with that being said, you can't just limit yourself to Toledo because, I mean, you got to move around. And they're not going to look at you like, they're not going to look at you the same way you look at yourself. You know what I mean? Like, if you feel like I'm a star, they're not going to look at you like that. Like, Toledo is different in a way we don't, Man, we ain't gonna hold nobody up. We ain't putting nobody on the pedestal. We, you know what I mean? <laughs> no matter what the fuck you Man, did. listen, the mentality is I got just as much money as you got, nigga, so why should I look up to you? Like, you ain't no different than me. Like, yeah. And that's the mentality in this motherfucker. So, yeah, I had to move around because I just felt like I was just bigger than just, you know what I mean? Like, that term local artist shit. Like, yeah. I can understand that. Like my nigga. It's like what, getting what's stuck. What's the definition of a local artist? Like, to me, that's just somebody who only sings in Toledo, who only does music in Toledo. Like, and you can't, you can't classify me as that. Like, shit. Like, no, my nigga, I ain't only been in Toledo. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it, it, it have been times where I, sometimes I be um. <clears throat> Like, like we was talking about earlier about uh, a lot of artists. I don't fuck with a lot of artists. They don't fuck with me in Toledo. Mm -hmm. And it used to be sometimes I used to sit back like, damn, that's fucked up. Because um, you would have thought that, you know what I mean, it would be, if nothing else, respect for all the shit I've done. But do you <clears throat> think that they, they see you out of their reach? Like, because like, I think what's happened with, with Clemmy, when I interviewed Clemmy, mm -hmm. it, it was like... It, they everybody done put him on the pedestal so they don't even try. Yeah, but anybody that know me or been around me, I I'm not built like that. Like I'm I man, I wanna laugh, mm -hmm. I wanna joke, I wanna you know I mean I'm very personable. Yeah. So so if if anybody ever met me, I don't think they can say that, you know, nah, he ain't approachable or he ain't no, nah, they man there be so many of us coming up to me talking about <clears throat> like I remember my cousin had told me Man, cuz, you gotta start separating yourself like because you done done way. I said, man, listen, I don't give a fuck about none of that. Like, I'm just not that nigga. Like, I feel like it ain't no difference for me and you. You know what I'm saying? Uh, or, 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 or the fact, um, the shit about my brother. Like, you like brother. Like, like you, man, you, no, no, I am not. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I have no control over that man's bank, uh, bank account. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I can go down to his house and just walk in or some shit like that, but no, my nigga, like, he got that. I don't have that. Yeah. I can call, make a call, and, and, 
And maybe some shit happened depending on where he at, but <clears throat> I wouldn't even make that call because you know what I mean? Like, I'm a grown ass man. Yeah, I stand on that. Like, yeah, yeah I gotta I'm be. I'm the nigga that they come to. Um, you know what I mean? When certain shit need to be done or handled or, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah, but I'm not, I, I just ain't, I, so, so to answer your question, I don't think that nobody would feel like I'm beyond reach or no shit like that because I don't, I don't give up that vibe. I don't think. Now, 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 <laughs> I will charge you. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'm full go all the way. I mean, yeah. and but but my charge ain't gonna be probably what a f would think. You know yeah. what I mean? Because I get it. Yeah. Like I say, I don't feel like I'm here and you're here, and we should keep it as such. Like, nah, man, I don't mind shit. Man, listen, anybody know me? I'm trying to get to the money. I don't even yeah. fuck about none of that other shit. And that's part of the hustle. You know, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I ain't exactly. gonna block myself. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta start with an eight ball. You, you gotta, most niggas start with a double up, then go to an eight ball, then a quarter. You feel me? So, and if you know, you know. You know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah no, nah, man. Shit. I'm trying to get it, and at the same time, if I can help, I can help. You know what I mean? I just posted a post the other day about um, a, a guy got my my Instagram inbox from London. He, he, you know, he was like, yo, I've been a fan with you since I ain't even mad all the way up until win-win. And I was just like, well, damn. Hey. He was like, I've been a fan of your brother since his first CD. And I was like, well, shit, yeah, this nigga, you know what I mean? He done all the shit. He <laughs> true. Shit. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, so, and shit like that just, just motivate me to be like, you know what I mean? Like, when I got songs of motherfuckers over in Africa, like, you know what I mean? Like, that's big shit to me. Like, that's incredible. I used to get fans from Ghana, um, like, years ago. And even back then, I was like, I was humble. Like, shh, man, that's some live shit. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> then I went and done a record with um, Bone Thugs and Harmony, right? So, I'm feeling myself. I was <laughs> Bitch, where my money? Like, bitch, where my money is? Take it with her. Yeah, but, you know what I mean? That aggressive shit, you can't scare them white motherfuckers. Uh -huh. Like, uh uh. They got the white man. <laughs> yeah, so it kind of, you know what I mean? It kind of left a bad taste in their mouth because I was really acting on some, like, yeah, I don't give a fuck, man. Shit. Shit, then I ain't gonna do it. And so what, you know what I mean? And, and, man, that might have put me in a fucked up, I know it put me in a fucked up spot. I just did uh, BET Wild Out Wednesday at the time, so yeah, man, I was, in my head, I'm like, man, shit, I got a, I got a brick at the house, I done four motherfucking records, I'm on TV, man, you niggas will kiss my ass, like, nigga, I can buy this bitch. <laughs> So that, that that was a problem? Man, hell yeah, that was a problem. That was a motherfucking problem. So it's like you your own enemy. Exactly. But, and that's what happens. And, and But I learned from that, and that's why I'm the way I am now. Like, you know what I mean? Like, niggas be thinking, I don't know why motherfuckers think that you ain't supposed to be humble. Like, uh, I just, I can't see it no other way. You know what I mean? Like, I don't give a fuck about none of that other shit. Like, I mean, but don't get me wrong. I do, um, <clears throat> I ain't gonna say I demand my respect, but we not gonna, we not gonna confuse this, the issue and you not tell my accomplishments, you know what I mean, what I done really done and what you ain't done or what the average motherfucker ain't. Like, I used to be, I used to really feel like, like, for me to have been independent, it ain't no independent nigga I know or knew that had did the type of shit that I did. Just being independent. Off pack money. You know what I mean? Because you gotta spend money to be, you know what I mean, to fuck with that music shit. Um, so, so we not gonna confuse that. But at the same time, I just, 
I'm not out here boasting or bragging or feeling like, man, because motherfuckers could like you one minute and like him the next, and ain't shit you can do about it. Well, their attention span is short these days. Shorter than the mo mine is too. <laughs> <laughs> what was we talking about? <laughs> I think it's the feeding of the reels and stuff they making our attention man sure mm. you know sometimes I look at the internet shit like it hurt us but then sometimes I look at it like it help us it helped us too like because thinking back to like back in the slavery days and the shit they used to do to us and just kill them motherfuckers like even Black Wall Street like that was a hundred years ago yeah that shit couldn't have happened in 2022. Like, niggas would have been out with their phones like shit. Uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? So they now, yeah, exactly. They know who they looking for now. And all. But, so, you know what I mean? Like I say, it's a gift and a curse. It's a gift and a curse. Yeah. Well, yeah, as soon as you out the, you alive, you get the internet. And you know who created the internet? Who not? A black man. Oh, yeah, I did hear that. And we still getting treated like shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, like we got to tighten up, it. man. We got we got to demand more for our respect, bro. Like we that that, that go back to that voting shit. Like the Democrat mm -hmm. man, fuck both of them. Like if motherfuckers ain't coming to the table with nothing for us, how is it that forty acres and a mule just got swept up under the rug? Huh. It's too many. It's how, too many that, how you owe me some shit, nigga? <laughs> you just done swept it under the rug. Oh, we'll get this nigga later. You steady sending billions over to Ukraine. You ain't gonna tell China. Yeah, we uh, get you back later. Or, or yeah. matter of fact, just just forget about that and let us run new. No, no. But we be we be so passive about it. Like we just want to love everybody. No, man, run me my acres. <laughs> like we don't demand shit for us. Like we look at shit like we are just worthless and we not. Right. Yeah. Well, the CD, they make it so that if you feel like you deserve something, you do it so bad. Uh, I don't know. Like, somebody told me, like, uh, getting disability is bad. Like, ain't that what you work for? Man, listen. I honestly feel like any black person that gets over on the government, is this still recording? <laughs> Where's that uh, that thing to change your voice and all that shit? I mean, we'll strike that. Um, I'm thinking of the best way to say this. Get your money, man. Get your motherfucking money by any means. Well, I can't get in trouble with this because Malcolm X said it by any means necessary. Like, right. I, as long as you ain't out here hurting nobody, man, scam the fuck away. That's how I feel. I don't do it. I mean, and I ain't gonna say I wish I knew how, but, you know what I mean? Because everybody got their own lane. But, man, do what you gotta do for you and yours. That's how I feel. I mean, if nothing else, it's owed to us. Like, and they ain't gonna pay us. You said that's our 48 years. Yeah, come on, man. They ain't gonna. And you know how, you know how life go. It was 40 acres and a mule back then. Yes. Now, you know what I mean? You owe us more. <laughs> so, man, get what you can get while you can get it because it ain't getting no better for us. Man, we are always going to be behind in the race of life. Like, and, and don't get me wrong, I don't dislike white people. But white people from back then have created generational wealth. And they own everything. They own everything. Anything that can help a small business, they own it. So it's like it's, if, if it was a race at the beginning of the time, they're here, <clears throat> they started here, and we're here. Yeah, you, we're not gonna, you're never going to close that gap. Never. Uh -uh. The system is set up for them to win and us to fail. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? So in between here, man, sh get yours. <laughs> That's how it Get yours. Because if you try try to do it right, you ain't getting it. You ain't gonna get it. You ain't gonna get what you feel you owe. You ain't, you just ain't getting it. I mean, <laughs> it is what it is. Yeah, it is what it is. It ain't what it ain't. Shit. Yeah. <coughs> <coughs>
right. Got another question. Well, something from your Facebook, right? So, let's talk about mental, mental, mental health. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause uh, you know, I watch Facebook. You know what I'm saying? And then it's like sometimes you can't comment on everything, but you can take it in. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then I feel like everybody got something they can offer in this world. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So they plant some gems. Yeah, you sound like Kanye right now. <laughs> <laughs> I wait till you just a Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> well, you know, you know, speak on a little bit too. Um, on which part? Which part? Like just, um, you know, you dealing with mental. Yeah, health yeah. Just, Man, listen, it was, it was, and it wasn't too long ago. Like, like I was so frustrated with. Us not being economically included and it being two Americas. I was so caught up on that that it would it would it would plague my mind all during the day, all during the night while I'm sleeping. Like sometimes it, <clears throat> it would then bring me to tears. Because I was so fucked up with it, like, my nigga, we done been getting fucked over since the beginning of time. And we still get fucked over now. And anybody that thinks that, <clears throat> oh, it's level playing field, you a fucking idiot. Yeah. Because it ain't. Yeah. And that shit that perplexed me, and that ain't nothing but mental health. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, see, I'm glad you said that because that's what was happening with the political stuff. Like, I dived into it so much, I, I, I was waking I've up and I'm like, too. damn, why my people ain't seeing this? Why my people keep going to the corner exactly. store spending all their money? You know why is this man raising the dollar candy bar to two fifty? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. they got food stamps. And exactly. Exactly. That's just like you know the bigger thing is. Have you noticed like around colleges, the houses and shit, the rent be fucking stupid high? Come on, man. That's only because y'all know the government then gave these kids this money for school. You know what I mean? So y'all are completely taking advantage of the system and, and because a lot of black people don't own the properties, they turn a blind eye to it. They don't care. They figure it's, it's a hustle. Yeah. You know what I mean? And because that's, man, the rent be stupid. Like it's at least double than what it would be anywhere else in the motherfucking city. $650 to get you a room in an apartment. Like, yeah. and it's only because they know the government is giving you that money. So, as far as mental health goes, we, I, I, like some people feel like, 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 cause I heard the phrase, I mean, but it didn't happen directly to you. Slavery didn't directly affect you. Yes, the fuck it did. Now, how the fuck do you think I'm gonna be cool with jumping up in the morning, skinning and grinning, shucking and jiving, knowing you bitches is against me and people that look like me? Like, all we get trained to do is go to work and help build somebody else's shit. Yeah. Like, do you know that the, um, the the curriculum for schools is different in different areas? Like, how is it that curriculum ain't the same across the board for all first graders? Like, in all second graders? Like, that just shows you, like, it's some bullshit involved somewhere. Because why would a first grader in Maine learn some different shit than a first grader in Ohio would. Like, there's some shit. There's some trickery going on. You know what I mean? They don't, they don't cheat. They whitewash our history. Like, like when I spoke about Black Wall Street, had you, do y'all know about Black Wall Street? Yeah. Did y'all hear about it? Know that? Man, a lot of people don't know about that. I seen a live interview with somebody who was there. Like I said, this was 100 years ago. She said her daughter ran to her and was like, Mommy, there are men outside with guns. So she got up, go to the window, look out, and there's white people out there with guns, all in the streets. So boom, they shoot out the back door over to the next street. She said while she running, she hear, she hear and see airplanes in the air shooting. And I'm just like, are you, 
fucking kid. Like the government trying to kill you, what can you and do? I didn't learn about this until way into adulthood. Yeah. Like how is this? Man, just last year they found mass grave sites from down there. Yeah. From because a, a white kid, a white dude that said when he was a kid, he would see the white dudes pull up in trucks with a bunch of bodies and throw a bunch of bodies into one coffin or, or box and put it at cemetery in the ground. Mm. And you know what I mean? They, for the longest, they didn't believe it, so they finally got the X-ray and whatever, and found all these bodies down there. From you know what I mean? It's like, how the fuck am I supposed to wake up happy about some shit like that? Like mentally, I'm drained. Yeah. How do I wake up happy about life? Come on, this. man. Come on, man. Yeah. Come on, it's incredible. So yeah, you know, and, and that's just what was traumatizing me at the moment. But there's so much other shit that we go through that traumatizes you. So, you know, I, th I think it would do everybody some good to go see somebody about mental health, to go see a counselor or something like that. That's just my personal opinion. I agree. I agree. Yeah, that, that's why I said I, I was going to speak on it. That, that, that's one something that we want to speak on. Because, like, and then we just dropped another gem. You know, I'm going to make sure that we give some uh, background on Black Wall Street. Yeah. Yeah, because that's deep, man. You know, one dude owned, and I'm, if I'm overdoing about this shit, I'm just, that, that's exciting to me to see that it was one, it was like, it, it was like um, comparison to a bunch of small black owned businesses now, but all in one place. Like one dude yeah. actually owned a hotel. I never heard a black person own a hotel, so that was yeah. incredible. You know what I mean? And he owned a bunch of real estate property. I you know she was renting out and he was you know, he was like bragging about how much that brought him in monthly. And um you know, but they wiped all that shit out. Yeah, all that shit out. Night. And think about this. Think about this. You hear so many people and it's not to discourage nobody, because I don't believe in discouraging, I like to encourage people, but so many people run around talking about black owned businesses, black owned businesses, black owned businesses. The reality is, it's not black owned. You know what I mean? You may own it because you registered it, but how can it be black owned? Everything you have to get for this company, for this business, has to come from a white person. Yeah. So, what is it's only black owned in the na for namesake, but other than that, it's, it's, it's nothing that black people can just 100% run a business 100% like Funded. You gotta pay a hundred dollars for LLC. Come on, man. All right. <laughs> man, come on, man. Like, we, we, um, but but that's the type of shit that I go through. I think about it. like I, I really feel like I don't say defeated because for whatever reason I got, I just got too much in here that's going. You know what I mean? I'm gonna keep going and I'm gonna figure it out. You know what I mean? A win is is I can't see it no other way. You know what I mean? But. But yeah, that that mentally, I, I be thinking about that shit like, man, how how can we trick the fucking system? Like, how can we get that?